Hey, happy Thanksgiving week. Yay. Hope you all have some yummy plans, yummy but safe plans. Um, as you saw, I'll be doing a class Wednesday evening as a pre-Thanksgiving gratitude, gentle flow. So hopefully um, maybe you can join me for that. If not, you know, it'll be up on the members page um, that evening. So if you need to take a little Thanksgiving break, um, your class will be up for then. Um, also, make sure I have the a little workshop on pigeon pose up. We will be incorporating more of that posture into our classes. So sometime um, if you can get to that class, even if you're not taking, actually going through it, but watching it just so you know um, kind of which variation of pigeon works best for you so that when we get into that pose into other classes, um, you'll know where you're at and how to do that for the way that works best for you. So take that workshop as soon as you can. If if you can, no worries if not. Um, and today we're going to begin standing. Namaste. Today's practice, we will be focusing on the side body and representative of the expansiveness of possibilities and not limiting ourselves to the possibilities of the human mind, the human body. We'll work on expanding 360 degrees with the breath, lengthening and strengthening left and right side bodies. So we have no, no boundaries. Um, and sometimes the mind and the body and just the world in general, um, kind of narrow tunnels our vision into success and happiness and prosperity for ourselves. I know at least for me, I struggle with, with that a lot. So I hope you enjoy this flow of strengthening, lengthening, expanding the side bodies. Um, to open ourselves to new possibilities. So to begin with that, we're going to start with a breathing exercise. So find yourself firmly rooted down through the feet, nice stable stance. And you're gonna bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your low back. And on an inhale, and actually we're gonna lower our hand a little bit below the belly button. So maybe your thumb is on your belly button. So when you breathe in, deep belly inhale, the hand expands a little bit. Maybe you can begin to feel the back body expand a little bit too. So on those deep inhales, we're gonna breathe in and actually lift the hands away, moving the hands away from the belly. Inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna bring them back in and gently squeeze that low belly and you'll feel a slight tuck of the tailbone. Full inhale, slow exhale. And then on the next breath in, we're gonna do the same thing, but on our side body. So bringing your hands to your waist, maybe even up a little bit to your ribs, feel kind of where on a normal breath, where your ribs, where your side body expands. In and out through the nose. And then on a big inhale, allow the hands to lift off your side body. Exhale, bring them back in inhale expand and with you imagine you can bring your side body with your hands expanding all the way so first breath in is going to be inhale from the belly and the back exhale it back in and then the side body inhale expanding through the side body left and right sides exhale it back in and then we'll go back to the belly so we'll spend a few rounds of breath there so again, settle into your stance, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders. Big inhale, belly breath, expand the hands off the body. Exhale, bring them back in. Move your hands to the side, same thing. Inhale to expand. Exhale back in. Hand back to your belly and your low back. Fill all the way up. Exhale all the way in to the side, exhale back in, and just keep moving and breathing here on your own breath rhythm, front and back, side to side.
just about another minute or so. Do one more round of each, front and back, side to side. And then release the hands to your side. Lower the gaze, but lift the chest, maybe closing the eyes. Spend just a moment here. Continue still feel that 360 degree expansion on your inhales from the front and back body and the side to side. And then release the awareness of your breath. Shrug the shoulders down the back and at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, slow motion forward, full bend the knees, lowering the chest over the thighs, letting the head and the neck hang heavy here. Spend a few breaths here, feeling how the body breathes in and out. On the next inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, look up. Exhale, bend your knees as much as you need to plant your hands. Lower down to your knees and take a comfortable seat. Bring your fingertips to your shoulders. And we'll begin with some arm circles, some shoulder circles, starting with the elbows. So drawing circles with the elbows, bringing some movement to the shoulder ball and socket joint there. Just slow, big circle direction. Maybe coming back to that expansive breath, front and back body, left and right body. And after your next circle, put the elbows in towards each other and then switch the direction. Continuing that circular motion. Continuing to focus in on that breath. Our like a T. Read to the forehead and then exhale. Clasp your fingertips behind your low back. Draw the fist down the spine as you lift your heart. Pull those down. Inhale. Exhale. See. And inhale. Get me sit back up. Release the hands at the bottom and lift them back up again. Reach, 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 but relax the shoulders. Exhale. Bring the right hand to the mat. Reach the left arm up. Leg side body stretch here. I'm still engaging that side body. So we focus on finding strength with the length. So we want to stretch, if you will, this part, the actual muscle. And so you want to find a little bit of strength, a little bit of engagement in that side body. And not just rely on the tendons and the fascia and the connection points to stretch. Exhale, release that left hand down. Sweep the arms back up. Reaching up with the fingertips, relax the shoulders. Lower the left arm down this time. Reach the right arm up and open. Pulling that shoulder back just a little bit. And remember to engage that side body. Imagining maybe a side plank. Pressing that right hip down. Reaching up through that right armpit. Sending breath to that right side. One more inhale. Exhale. Lower that right hand down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Take another forward fold over the legs. And then curl the spine to sit back up. Switch the crossing of your legs. If you sat cross-legged, if you're sitting a different way, that doesn't, um, in, if it's the same kind of sitting on your knees or in a different way that doesn't favor one side or the other, then you can stay where you're at. But if you sat cross-legged, switch the crossing of the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, clasp the fingertips behind your low back. We'll even it out by taking that seated yoga mudra. Again, inhale, lifting the chest, exhaling, folding over the legs. Fists reach back, arms reaching up. Exhale, let all the air out. Inhale to sit up, releasing the fingertips at the bottom, sweep the arms up. And we'll take one more fold forward. Reach the heart past the legs. Lower the gaze, lower the hands, and then immediately curl the spine to sit back. Good. Find a cat and cow. Making your way to your tabletop. Dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Inhale. Exhale, rolling the spine, tucking the chin. And after that, we'll wag the tail. So look over your right shoulder and press that right hip out. Exhale, back to center. Inhale to wag your tail, look over your left shoulder. Pressing into that right hip as you try to look past your left hip. Back to center. Inhale to cat. Or to cow, rather. <laughs> Sorry. And exhale to cat. And we'll wag our tail. Look to the left. Press into that left hip as you try to jut your right hip out. Exhale to center. Inhale here. Exhale. Look over your left shoulder. Wagging your tail to the other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, relax. Inhale to cow, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the back of the head. Exhale, cat, curl the spine as dramatically as you can. Press the earth away, tuck the chin. Inhale to center. Stay for the exhale. Breath in. Exhale, wag your tail, look over your right shoulder. Finding length and strength in the left Outer hip, left side body, back to center. On your next exhale, look over the left shoulder, other side. And then inhale back to center. Walk the knees back, walk the hands a little forward. We're gonna lower down with by supported plank. So you're gonna shift on your knees so your feet lift off the mat. And keeping your elbows hugged in, biceps spinning forward, slowly bend the elbows as you lower your body all the way to the mat. Release the legs. Inhale to cobra, roll the shoulders up and back. Baby cobra here, not too high. Tops of the feet pressing to the mat. Lower the gaze a little so the back of the neck is long. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the forehead down to the mat, tuck the toes. Press the hands into the mat. Lift up through plank to downward facing dog. Three breaths in downward dog. And making any movements you need. And eventually settling into the posture with your fingertips spread wide, chest pressed towards your thighs. Heels heavy, tailbone lifting. Squeeze the mat between your feet and your legs, drawing that energy up towards your center. Full, full breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. Look between your hands, tiptoe to the top, forward fold. Inhale to chair, knees bend, arms rise. Exhale to stand, keep the arms up, reach up, clasp the fingertips at the top. So you can see a little fingertips up here. Reach up, exhale, bend to one side. Half moon standing stretch. Both feet planted firmly on the mat. Same with our side body stretch before. Even though we're pressing down with that right side and lifting up through that right side, we're going to keep some openness in the left side body. Focus on length. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Be pulling that left shoulder back and safe, finding some heart openness. Openness to possibilities. Openness to the blessings of life, of the world, things we can't imagine for ourselves. Inhale back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back to plank. Hold for just a breath here. And then lower the knees, child's pose. Shift the hips back over the heels. Tent the fingertips up. And then walk them over the right side. On your exhale. Inhale back to center, walking the fingertips back to center. Exhale over to the left side. Inhale to center, find some length. 
Exhale, walk the fingertips over the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. And coming up to tabletop and step the right foot between the hands. We're going to make our way to a low lunge. So squeezing that right hip back, left hip forward. Keep the left hand planted. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale to cart with your hand to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes. Step the right foot back, finding plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, release the head to the mat. Tuck the toes, press up to plank. Step the left foot forward, lower the right knee. Finding our low lunge. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Right hand plants. Inhale, twisting in towards that knee. Reach the left arm up. Exhale, reach back for your foot. Inhale to cartwheel that left arm towards the floor. Framing the front foot. Tuck the back toes. Step to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Three breaths here. Coming back to that breath, imagining your inhales, the belly and low back expanding. Rib cage on both sides expanding and contracting. Look up, tuck the toes, meet me in downward facing dog. Look between your hands, step towards the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, knees bend, arms rise up, open through the heart, slight tuck of the tailbone. Energetically squeeze the legs together, and then inhale to stand, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, lower your left knee, and we'll take gate pose. So you're just gonna pivot that left knee and coming up off your hands. Walk that right foot to the edge of the mat. So the, the edge of the foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. Arms reach out and then reach towards that right foot, lower the right hand to the right knee. You can turn your toes out a little bit if you need a little bit more stability. Left arm comes up overhead. Pull that left shoulder back. So you're spinning your heart towards the ceiling. And breathe. Hug the ribs in. Still finding that expansion. On your inhale, cartwheel that left hand down to the mat. Reach the right arm up. Stargazer pose, lifting up through that right hip. And then exhale, lower that right hand down. Pivot the knee. I'll step the left foot forward, inhaling, coming up, opening through, pivot on that right knee and walk the left foot to the edge of the mat, left edge of the foot towards the left edge of the mat, reach the arms wide like a T and then tilt that left hand down the left leg, reach the right arm up, open through the side body, remember that breath, inhaling, expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting. Here we are. Shoulder open, heart open, gaze up. Breathing. Shoulders relaxed. Squeezing that left foot in towards that right knee. Pressing down with that right knee, gathering that energy up. One more breath in. Exhale, gently cartwheel that right hand down as your left hand comes up. Stargazer pose, lift up through that left hip. And then exhale, lower that left hand down. Pity on their knees. Coming to tabletop. Take a couple breaths here. Tuck the toes up and back to downward facing dog. Look, exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, knees bend, arms rise. Stay here just a moment. Tuck the tailbone, bring the ribs in, lift the heart. Exhale to stand, arms to your side. Coming back to the top of the mat, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, fold, plant your hands, step the left foot to the back of the mat, finding a lunge, pull that left hip forward, right back, spending just a couple breaths here, and then lower that left knee, untuck the back toes, reach the arms up, clasp the fingertips up the top, and take a little side stretch to the left, you'll feel that deep in that left psoas, in the inner, inner body there, mimicking our half moon stretch, so keep that left shoulder back. Inhale to center, exhale, lower the hands. Tuck the back toes, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Look between your hands, step, hop, tiptoe towards the top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step your right foot to the back of the mat, find your lunge, few breaths here. Squeezing the foot, the feet together, dragging the mat, as if you could create a little bubble in the middle there. Lower the right knee, untuck the right toes, reach the arms up. Same thing, other side, clasp the fingertips up the top, reach up, side body stretch to the left. Pull that right shoulder open, breathe into where you feel it. Remembering to find your edge and not go past it. You should still be able to breathe that deep inhale to the belly and low back. Side body. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the hands to either side of the foot. Tuck the back toe. Step to plank, right to downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Out through open mouth if you'd like. And then step the right foot forward between the palms. Warrior two, plant the back foot, reach it up. Open, sink into your warrior two, bending into that front knee. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Draw the energy up and in. Reach forward, flip the front palm. Reverse warrior. Breathe. Exhale, side angle lunge, right elbow to right knee. Left arm comes up. Coming back to your breath. And then look down at your foot. Bring your right hand to the outside of the foot. And then lower the left hand down, spin that back heel up. Step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Warrior two to the other side, step the left foot forward, spin the back heel down, reach the right arm up, open. Sink down, but gather energy up and in, reach out. Look over your front fingertips, reach forward, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Hanging out here for just a couple breaths. Feeling firm and strong yet lengthened and open. Exhale, side angle lunge, left elbow to left knee, right arm comes up. Breathe. Look down at your foot. Bring your left hand to the outside of the foot. Lower your right hand down. Bringing the front foot, step that, lift that right heel. Step the left foot back and then take side plank. So lower to the knife edge of your right foot. If you'd like a little extra support, you can bring your left foot down kind of in front of your thigh. Reach the left arm up. Breathe. If you'd like a little bit of a challenge, you can begin to try to lift that left foot off the right. If you've gone way too far, don't worry. Just put that left foot back down. A couple more breaths. Exhale, lower that left hand to the mat. Lower your knees. Take a round of cats and cow and wagging the tail. And then meet me in downward facing dog. Ready for the other side. Shift forward to plank, side plank. Lower both feet to the knife edge of the left foot. Staying here, lifting the right hand for full plank or supported plank by lowering your right foot to the mat. No judgment. This is also full plank. If you wanna take it a little bit more of a challenge, again, lifting that right foot up off the mat, off your foot. Woo. Exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. Lower through chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, child's pose.
Three breaths here. Draw your hands back behind you, reach for your heels. Or let the tops of the arms just relax on the mat next to you. And as we rest here for a moment, taking notice of the breath. If you're like me, it's gotten a little shallower, a little higher up in the chest and the upper back. Let's try to restore that full belly, low back, side to side breathing. Imagine your hands expanding front and back with your belly and low back. Exhale and drawing back in closer to you. Imagine them on your waist or on the top or the bottom part of the ribs. And inhaling is if you could expand your body by pulling the hands away from you. Exhaling and drawing them back to your side. Spend as much time as you need. When you're ready, press into the hands. Gently sit up to our hero pose. Again, coming back to that breath. Bring your hand back to your low belly and your low back if you'd like. Full inhale. Full exhale. To your sides. Inhale to expand. Exhale, bring it back in. And making your way back to tabletop. And tucking the toes, lifting the knees and the hips back for downward facing dog. Look between your hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slow motion, roll to stand. Take your time. Bring your arms up with you. Exhale, to mount. Bring your hands to your hips. And step your right foot to the back of the mat. Pivot on your feet to come all the way so you're facing the back of the mat, preparing for triangle pose. Extend the arms out wide like a T. Pull that left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale, reach forward until you can't reach forward anymore. Hinging at the hips. Be a little buoyant in the knees here. Don't lock yourself out. And then lower that right hand to the inside of the right leg. Reach the left arm up. Spin the heart. Press the feet down into the mat. Lengthen through the spine. Open through the heart. Breathe. Inhale back to stand. We'll take it right to the other side. So just pivot on those feet. So now you're facing the top of the mat. Left foot is forward. Reach forward with that left hand. Keep pressing forward so you can't go any further. Keep a little buoyancy in the knees, maybe even a deeper bend if you need. And then lower that left hand down to the inside of the left leg. Reach the right arm up. Find length straight through the spine as you open through the heart. Press the feet down. Look up at your right fingertips if you can. Otherwise, look straight down for balance or anywhere in between for your sanity. <laughs> Just a couple more breaths here. Inhale back to center. Turn the toes to face the wide edges of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Find that expansive breath. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinging at the hips. Lowering the head between the legs. And then pulling the elbows together. Shift the weight to the balls of the feet. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Let the head hang heavy. Keep squeezing the elbows in towards each other. Finding firmness in the backs of the legs, not relying on the attachment points, but use your muscles. Use the engagement of the backs of the legs to find that stretch. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale to stand. Reach the arms out. Give yourself a hug on the exhale. Inhale, expand. Exhale, hug. Switch the crossing of the arms. 
Inhale to expand. Step to the top of the mat. Arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back. Lower through chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Let it out through open mouth. Look back at your right heel. Take your left hand and reach for that right heel. Maybe looking up under your armpit. You can do this with the knees lowered too, if that's a little bit easier for you. Look back at your left heel or your left knee. And reach that right arm back. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes. Reach the arms back, clasp the fingertips at your low back. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lifting the heart. Finding a little baby locust. Big toes touch. Long through the legs. Tops of the feet are pressing down, but also reaching back. Keep your neck neutral. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Lower to one side of your face. Take a rest. Inhale, bring the forehead back to the center, clasping the fingertips again at your low back, and maybe this time switching the crossing of the thumbs. So the opposite thumb is on top. It'll feel a little weird. Draw the shoulders up and back, pulling your fists down your low back. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe lifting a little higher this time. Maybe lifting a little lower. If you noticed last time, you went a little too far. All about that self-awareness. Despite the endless possibilities of life, there are physical restrictions that we must honor about our bodies. We shouldn't let them hold us back from our energetic or value possibilities. But we do need to honor the physical ones. Exhale, release. Reach the arms up overhead. And take a stretch. Exhale, palms down next to your chest, lifting up to cobra, maybe coming up to seal pose, where you're lifting all the way up, fingertips spread wide, shoulders away from the earth, slight tuck of the low belly. Exhale back to child's pose. Three breaths here. <sighs> Feels so good on that low back, let the tailbone release towards the earth. Big exhale out. And up to your knees. We'll play around a little bit with dancing camel pose. So blocks can be helpful here. If you take them on either side of your heels. If you know the heels are easily accessible for you, you might not want to use the blocks. Maybe you want to use the blocks even if they are accessible towards you or accessible for you. But putting them back behind there, let's start with camel prep. Bring your hands to your waist, remembering still feeling that expansive. Breath in and closing, breath out. Toes can be tucked or flat, your preference. Play around, see what feels best for you. If you're having a hard time keeping that strength and balance, you can even bring a block between your thighs to give you kind of something to squeeze into, to hold on to. All right, so here we are in our camel prep, hands on our hips, elbows squeezing back together, just like we did in our wide and wide legged forward fold. Slight tuck of the tailbone down, lifting through the heart. Slight tuck of the chin. And then, Find some lift to begin to find a back bend. So instead of just dumping back, we're lifting through the heart, looking up. Slight pressing forward of the hips, but keep the tailbone lengthened down. Maybe you can drop your head back. 
Release gently coming back up. Remove the block and sit back on your heels. On to hero. Take a moment. Breathe in. When you're ready, we'll take it back up to our camel and try dancing camel. So again, placing those blocks on either side. Reach the arms up. And exhale, lower that right hand to the block or to your ankle and reach the left arm up. Hold here for a minute. And inhale, both arms up. Reach up, exhale, other side. Left hand lowers to the block or to your ankle. Reaching up with that right hand. Let it all out on the exhale. Inhale, left arm up. Other side, exhale, release that right hand back to your block or maybe your heel. Opening the heart, lifting up. Exhale, coming up and switching sides. Left hand to your left heel or the left block. Inhale, the right arm up. Find some openness and expansion. Exhale, coming up, switching sides, right hand to the back. Inhale, the left arm up, press the hips forward, lift through the heart up. And then just continue with this back and forth. Gently lowering back and lifting up. Moving with your breath. Take as many of those as you'd like. Evening out your camel. And then coming back to Kiro when you're ready. Another meditative moment, finding the breath. Filling yourself with a mantra of limitless possibilities. Expanding ourselves into the universe. Not a part of. Blinking the eyes up, shift the hips to the left, bring the left or bring both, roll the shoulder reaching that way. Maybe your hands clasp your toes. Maybe you can wiggle your elbows down in front of your shins. If you can't, just stay where you're at. Find that expansive breath and settle in. Another couple of rounds of breath here. And we're going to put the chin and curl the spine, finding a cat-like pose. We use that to roll up, to sit. Extend the legs long out in front of you for a forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hinging at the hips, bring the belly forward, then the heart, then lower the arms. Grab onto your legs or the floor. Shrug the shoulders down the back. Lift the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Now release as you fold over the legs. Take a full breath out. Spinning the inner thighs down. And then again, curling the spine, sucking the chin to sit up. Draw the hands back a few inches behind you. Pull the elbows in. Shoulders away from the ears. Lift the heart. Point the toes and inhale. Lift up to reverse plank. You can also take reverse tabletop here. Maybe you want to take it a step further, flattening your feet to the mat. One more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Once again, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Curl the spine. Inhale to sit up. And keeping that right foot tucked in, extend the left leg to the sides. Sole of the right foot comes to the inside of that left thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then tilting to the left, bring your left hand down the left leg, grabbing your toe or your ankle. Reach the right arm up. Breathe here.
Inhale, sit back up and switch sides. Extend that right leg long. Bring the sole of the left foot into the right thigh. Find your sturdy base, reach the arms up. And then tilt towards the left, bringing your, or tilt, tilt, <laughs> tilt towards the right, bringing your right arm down the right leg. I got excited there about Janya Shashasana. Grabbing your toe, ankle, whatever's accessible. Finding again openness in the heart. So spinning the heart towards the ceiling, reaching up and back with that left shoulder. 360 degree breath. Inhale back to center. And here we are ready for our deer pose. Just take that right leg and bring it aside. About 90 degree angle with hip to knee to ankle or any degree. Try to start with 90 degrees, but if that doesn't feel good for you, then you just adjust to whatever degree works best. Left front knee and shin are going to be parallel to the top of the mat. Fingertips down on the earth. If they don't quite reach, use your blocks. Like that. All right, so arms are wide, heart is open. Inhale the length of the spine. Exhale, maybe you begin to fold forward. Maybe right here is just enough for you today. You still wanna keep the heart open and the spine long here. Breathe. If you want to play around with a little bit more sensation, you can bring that right forearm down in front of the leg and tent your left fingertips and kind of twist in, twisting in towards that left leg. And then lifting up off that right forearm, maybe you lower your left forearm, same fingertips to the mat, pull that right shoulder back, twisting in towards the right, seeing how the different sensations manifest in your body, if you like it or if you don't. Coming back up to our deer pose. Take a final breath in. Full exhale out. Slowly walking the hands back. Moving the knee props out of the way. You know where we're going to go, if you know. Windshield wiper the knees up, pivoting on the heels and the hips, taking a little back and forth. Now you can either just lower the legs to the right and left knee at some kind of angle next to you. Maybe trying to start with that 90 degrees. Fingertips spread wide, planted on either the blocks of the mat. Shrug the shoulders down, lengthen the spine, lift the heart, and then exhale, maybe beginning to walk the fingertips forward. Still spreading your wings wide, finding your deer pose. If you did so on the other side, bringing that left forearm down in front of you or onto a block, tenting up on those right fingertips and gently turning the heart over the right shoulder. And then switching sides, coming up onto the left fingertips, bringing that right forearm down, tenting the left fingertips up and turning the heart towards the left. Pressing up all the fingertips, walking your fingertips back. Find your deer pose. One more lift and lengthen. Exhale out. And then taking that windshield wiper, left and right. Bringing the feet together, lowering on down to your back. Draw the right knee in, extend the left leg long. Taking wind, removing pose. Fingertips clasp around the right knee. And draw that right knee down. Flex the left foot, pressing out through the heel. Finding that full expansive breath. Front and back, side to side, everywhere in between. And with your left hand, gently guide that right knee across your body over to the left. Taking a twist, extend the right arm next to you, look over your right shoulder. Full body breathing. 
deep inhale, inviting expansiveness of possibilities to you. Each exhale, releasing doubts, hangups, all the buts and I can'ts. Inhale back to center. Draw the left knee in and extend the right leg long. Flex the right foot so you're pressing out through a flat foot through that heel. Clasping the fingertips around the left knee. Press that left knee down towards your armpit. Lengthening through the right leg. Chin is tucked. Shoulder blades on the mat. I mean, back to the breath. Filling up with multiple universes of options and possibilities of joy, peace, prosperity for yourself. And then with your right hand, gently guiding that left knee across your body, moving towards the right, extend the left arm long, looking over your left shoulder. Exhaling out any of the doubts, things you've been told, things you've read, judgments, one of these things. Let them all go. Bring them out. List. And then inhale the gaze back to center. The left knee back up. Draw both knees in. And maybe take a happy baby, reaching between the legs to grab the toes, the ankles. Feel free to rock and roll around. Find some stillness or lengthen through the legs, make your baby happy. And then begin tuning in to any final postures you think your body would enjoy. Closing out your practice, feeling balanced and full. I didn't take any final Movements, breaths, and noises you need. And then gently release the body into Shavasana. And here we're going to take up as much space as we possibly can. So widen your legs off the mat. Spread your arms wide like a star. And your five-pointed star flat on your back. Take up all the room you can. And coming back to that breath. Feeling the low belly and the low back. Press up and down on the inhale. And come back together on the exhale. Feeling the right side body and the left side body. Expanding so wide. You imagine your side bodies are coming off the mat. They're expanding so wide with so much breath in. And exhale, closing back in towards each other until you find yourself back on the mat. Let your next exhale be the biggest release you've had all day. And then allow yourself to drift here. And you should also land completely relaxed. And your fingertips, your arms, chest and belly, hips and legs, and the ankles and the toes. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Um, the ears and the eyelids to feel heavy. Supported safely on the mat. Enjoy this, this all important, all encompassing posture. I'll let you know when it's time to reawaken.
Feel your body. In your space. Slowly drawing the legs together and the arms up overhead. Stretching on your inhale, pointing the toes, reaching the arms up. And then exhaling, curling into yourself on one side. Propping your head up with your arm. Taking your time. Moving ever so gingerly. That's your soul. To the quiet seats. Keeping the eye softly gazing down or bring your hands to your knees and sit up straight and comfortably allow the chin to tuck spend just another moment here in quiet meditation Final breath in. Exhale, release. Bring the palms together at heart center. Face from within yourself. Thank you for sharing class with me. I'll see you next time.